Hey everybody, Andy here. Well, I've got this Mealy Cat and Dog 6000 Hoover and the power switch here, when you pushed it down, it wouldn't stay latched down. It would release so the Hoover would not stay on when you push the plug. So I've stripped it down and I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed about the... The, the construction of this thing. Anyway, there's online videos to show you how to get this off. So, obviously, this was the, the power uh, selection switch on the top. So you have to literally force this top plate to come off. And then you, you undo this screw and this screw. And, you, and this thing is clipped on. So you've got a little clip here. And a little clip there so you've got a little clip here which is latched under there which you can just pry out but then this side it's got uh, where are we? it's got this clip here which goes under again so then you have to you have to spread the back of this out to be able to pop this module off so once this is off you can see it's just a press connector into that connector so then this is off and I've already removed the power switch and I do apologize about this handheld video but I'm just so bloody annoyed at the quality of this stuff so this this power switch I've tested it uh, with a multimeter so when it's down it, it, it energizes it will have continuity between these two connections and when you let it go and I've done this you know many times and that the switch perfectly latches so it's purely where are we? it's purely this rocking mechanism which sits above the switch that was broken and i could see maybe you can see for if you've got a melee that this section here you can see if it is broken like mine the piece of plastic which is down here shouldn't be down there it should be at the top now I'm just going to use my finger and you can see now the plastics at the top okay you can clearly see that I hope and now it's dropped out because this main housing mechanism when we turn it over and here we are this is the switch here and you can see this section here is the bit that drops down and just there and there are two minute pieces of plastic which are missing that they've disappeared and that is obviously forming a half semicircle for this uh, round section of the switch to latch into. So it makes a, um, a lever, a fulcrum. So when you press the switch down, I'm gonna have to turn this around now. Ah, the whole thing's dropped out now. Right. So you can, you can see here, where this plastic is gone white where are we you can see here that there's one there and one there and there and there's a, a slight dish indentation here and on that side and that allows this round section of the switch to sit in the dishes and obviously those two poxy small bits of plastic were there retaining this round section so when you put your foot on the silver button on the top this rocks up and down will depress the switch the switch will latch closed and then this will come up but because the stupid bits of plastic have, have broken off and let me get my calipers. This is this is really, really annoying me. Let's let me see if I can pause this video. 
so I've got my calipers now. So let's just see. So 1.98, that's two millimeters. And it's almost like they designed these things to break. Now we've had this a few years, don't get me wrong. However, why would you design a, a retaining clip that obviously gets abuse because most people will will step on they will step on this on and off switch with their foot so it takes a bit of impact but why would you make this whole section only having a two millimeter piece of plastic yes I know there's, there's going to be resistance on this switch because this switch needs to be retained on this round section and rock but my gosh you know and I, i'm not going to go and buy one of these I, i'm in italy now and there is a uh, a repair shop some distance away but due to lockdown etc i don't really want to go out so i'm going to have a go at repairing this and assemble it back to see whether i can uh, fix it for no money so that's that's my little rant over I'm now going to go in the garage and see whether my plan is is to is to drill a hole here and put some form of washer or a uh, piece of plastic which will rest on the the round section and and keep it in place and allow it to move backwards and forwards. This isn't going to move because the round section sits in an indentation here so purely i've just got to stop it dropping out anyway i'm going to disappear now and I'll, I'll do some more filming in the garage once i know what i'm doing but uh, it makes you so angry so here we are in the garage now so this is the rocker switch so it's meant to be sitting like this so when it rocks it, it will lever on there so my idea is I found an old IKEA cover for their units now you can use any piece of plastic I'm guessing this is maybe one mil so my plan is I'm gonna cut a small rectangular piece of uh, plastic drill a hole here and have the plastic just resting on on the circular bit and that will and do the the screw with a bolt up tight enough just to keep that in place anyway uh, I'm gonna hack this apart now cut it as a size and I'll join you back in a minute so here we are I've shaped the piece of plastic and it, it fits in the gap quite well and I've made it long enough just to cover the round section of the switch plate because obviously when the switch is depressed it's going to fall apart now so it's only only just long enough to cover the round section because when the when the switch is depressed this section here will rise and fall and if you make the white any longer it will get restricted or get hit by the actual uh, switch mechanism so what i'm going to do now i'm going to drill a hole back here somewhere find a little nut and bolt and i'm hoping that when i reassemble it all the nut and bolt's not going to go in the way i'm quite sure that it's not going to be affected on the underside here and i'm pretty certain on the top side uh, it's covered by the grey on and off button that you press normally with your foot. So here we go. I drilled the hole from the top and it's a 3mm hole for, strange enough, a 3mm bolt. So let's get it bolted up and see whether this is going to give me the right form of resistance to keep the switch in place and allow the switch to still rock up and down. So here we go, the bit of plastic's in, and I've used a 10mm bolt, 3mm, with a nylock nut. And that's just to 
about good. You probably could have got away with an 8mm, but I don't think that's going to trap anything. Now I've done the bolt up just enough to keep the rocker mechanism. You can see it now moving. And you can see if you look at the end of the white piece of plastic I put in, when the switch moves up and down, that it's not interfered with by the switch moving. And I've put a little bit of silicon grease on the round sections of the switch and on the uh, underside of the plastic to help it move up and down. So hopefully we're quids in. Um, proof of the pudding is reassembling it. That's back upstairs. And then um, plug it in and see whether I've got happy wife. So I'll catch you back upstairs. So before I go back upstairs, this is just the top view of the um, the switch. And you can clearly see now that this bit of plastic is the round section and that was the bit in the initial part of the video where this had fallen down by say five millimeters because it wasn't uh, held in by the two stupid little retaining clips there's my bolt and you can just see the white there is the white bit of plastic i've installed so when the, i'm, I'm going to push this up and down you can see this now rocks nicely so hopefully we're a, we're a winner. So that's the switch reconnected. Now the switch should just push back down, down in because this little retaining clip here, uh, you just push slightly to the left and it allowed the switch to drop down. And the other side here, that's what retains the switch in its position. So I'm gonna put the camera down and do that. So that went in really, really easy. Um, you need two hands to do it. So. All you've got to do is slightly pull this little latch to the left. The switch will drop in, but then make sure that the switch is sitting in there level. You can see that, well, it's not quite level, but if, if it doesn't look like that, the switch has been pressed down too far one side. The right hand side really did clip into its, its locating lug but when I put the switch in the left hand side went down too low because there is a slight, where are we, a slight groove up here. So all we've got to do then is, is pull the latch to the left and just ease the switch up. So it is pretty much horizontal, uh, the top of the switch is near enough horizontal with the plastic. But if you drop it down too low, you'll clearly see that it is too too, too low, especially if, it, especially if it's lopsided. So just before reassembly, you're just going to check the action of the switch. So you can see the switch is latching down and press it again and it comes back up. So to me, it appears that the rocker is now working. And um, as long as my bolt on the inside doesn't affect anything um, we should be good so just gonna reassemble this now so it should be easy to get it back in so I'm gonna align this oh there's dirt down now I'm gonna clean that dirt out that might even be the bits of plastic that uh, um, down here that might even be the bits of plastic that broke off so those bits of debris was nothing to do with uh, the bit that had broken off. So all I'm going to do now is align this black section into the back. And that goes in there nicely. <clears throat> so now you can see you've got this little lug here and you've got one you can't you got one here. And they're the they're the bits that when you're assembling it you have to get a screwdriver in it get a screwdriver in and force it out to get it in so I'm probably going to need two hands just to clip that back in you can see this side easier so it's only you know it's only protruding out two, two mil so I'm going to get a screwdriver in here pry the, the casing out and that should drop down so the torques are done up the switch is working lovely jubbly so um, it's not worth well I'm gonna I'm gonna check it with the cover off but it, it worked last time with the cover off so 
let me just plug in so the moment of truth so that works so now it's getting this section back on and you have to be a bit careful because when you're prying it out you don't want to snap this column off and you don't want to snap that column off so the way i'm going to do it is i'm, I'm going to get the right hand side in and then see how i can wiggle the left hand side in okay let's try and get this cover back on so <clears throat> my idea is, is to get one side in remember how it went in so okay so you guide it in and then you pry it out Okay, what I'm trying to do is uh, these bits here locate into this bit here. So this bit here, I'm lining up with its hole, bearing in mind where this bit goes underneath there. So the, the silver bits slip under and it just wants to fall in there nicely. So now I'm gonna pry that bit out And that side's in. Do the same for that side and it's in. Now, why is it not going down? So, <coughs> take it off again. Maybe it's the wrong side of the lugs. So, what I'm trying to do is getting these bits lined up with its round hole here. Then this is either a this is a stopper, which stops on this bit. So this fits in nicely under here. So I've got to get what I'm calling the stopper, getting the stopper underneath this section here and then I think it would be fine. So, that's gone in that side. That's gone in that side. So now I'm gonna, that's too much. Ah, right, so, this stopper here has to be below its stopper here. So I'm now going to get an angle.
Okay, yes. Do it at the angle like that last section showed because the... Let me get some light in there. The stopper, as I was calling it, has to be below the piece of plastic. So angle it like I did at the last bit, pry the sides out and go. Because the stopper which was on this plate has to be underneath the stopper on this plate. Right, let's see if it works. Plug it in. That's what I call a result. That's it, it's Andy signing out. Happy that I've saved some money and got the wife approval factor. Cheers for now.